Hello, everybody. This is the second lesson on the photopy for beginners. The first one was an introduction to this program that is an excellent substitution uh, for the Photoshop and it is free online program. And the first lesson was also to learn how to crop a photo or an image and save it. Today, we will learn how to make our image also straight. Not every image is taken in perfect way. And beside cropping, we often need to straighten it. Let's see a sample. We go to the file, we open an image, Okay, and let's find pictures and I will use an image. Okay, we open image and we see that it has not really vertical lines vertical. It happens very often and very often such images are posted on social media and shared with other people. And I don't think it is really good to have this not really good quality image shared with other people, especially if there is a tool that helps you to make it straight. So to crop and to straighten an image is the essential part of editing before you publish your image, your photo, your artwork. So how to do this? Let's go to the menu. we we'll go to uh, edit and we go to the uh, transform and we use rotate option. Rotate option helps us to rotate image especially when you go to the corner, you see we need to move cursor to the corner. It helps us to rotate. After rotation, you will have a kind of a blank uh, area, the canvas beneath your photo that is a straight canvas uh, and it means that you will need to crop your photo after this. So uh, straightening your photo and rotating it is better to do uh, before cropping if you need this straightening. Uh, but it might be not very easy to straighten it uh, and to have really truly vertical line. So with cursor we go to the sides here we have this uh, visible rulers with measurements and we press left button on the mouse and drag a line. It's like a grid line to help us to see whether our vertical lines are vertical. The same you can do from the top. You can click and drag. Oh, sorry, it doesn't work go to the cursor normal uh, we click press we keep pressing the left button and we drag a horizontal line however in this case we don't need it really we have these buildings on the background that might be uh, useful to have a horizontal line but actually we don't need it as much as we need vertical and since the main part is that corner of the window, it is better to locate this uh, vertical uh, supportive grid line uh, near this uh, mm, part of the window so that you make your rotation uh, according to this line. So let's go back, transform, rotate, and we use this grid to see whether, how much we need to rotate. You may put it straight on the 
uh, vertical line or nearby so that you can rotate. And when you finish your rotation, you just press uh, enter key on your keyboard. So now your work is straight and you need to crop it. We go to the tools, we go to the crop tool, as we learned before. We press left button, we drag the frame, and we need to crop now our image. And it is up to you whether you want to crop it having this part of the window or not. And as you see, the left part of the uh, window is not that perfectly straight, and it is because of the limitations of uh, a camera. Uh, more professional camera, camera with a special lens will not uh, have this um, uh, like problem. Uh, therefore, you need to remember about this and think whether you need to improve this. And there are options to improve, or you just crop uh, taking away this wall. It's up to you. Do you need this window or not? Uh, I showed you how to straighten the photo, but uh, generally, I don't think I need the window uh, side part. Uh, and definitely, I don't need that dark bottom part. So I probably will cut shorter how much how elongated format you want to have it's up to you so you decide what is the composition it might be elongated format it might be more square it's up to you uh, to decide uh, but now we have everything straight bottles we have a uh, building straight in our picture in our image uh, so uh, we are ready to uh, crop it okay so we're done this composition is what suits me and i press enter key on my keyboard and uh, with the arrow we just click on this blue line and drag it away and then you see your artwork your photo uh, clearly and now you decide whether you want to crop it more uh, whether you want to uh, change anything uh, if you want to try again you can go file open and open the same photo again And this is the, the cropped photo and edited photo. And this is the original. So, and if you want, you can repeat and have another one uh, uh, trial. However, the first one, I find it is good. And I go to the file, export as, and if you watch the first lesson do you remember which format is preferable yes jpeg format is preferable it's universal format it suits any uh like place for publishing uh your photo it will be opened by anyone who receives your image so jpeg okay do you remember here you don't need to change anything except the quality to make it 100 percent unless you want very poor quality to save space it might be just smaller size but we don't need this uh, so uh, it will be the quality that is your original photo quality so if you have iphone it will be high quality picture and then we press save and as you remember, it is uh, downloaded. So if we go to the uh, your uh, computer, we go to downloads, we have this image with the same name 
or numbers as the original uh, photo. And we rename it and say photo two, because the first trial was photo one. And control C, you copy it from here, and you go to your folder and control V, you paste it here. You can cut and paste or you can copy and paste. And here you have your edited photo. So now you can try, repeat this lesson and play with these tools and uh, make your uh, work. Good luck.